Hello everyone, Jenny Kohler, PwC's US Cloud and Digital Leader here. Thanks for tuning in to Take 5 with Microsoft and PwC. Today's topic is all about Microsoft Industry Clouds. I'm delighted to be joined by special guest Gail Shepard, Microsoft's Corporate VP of Global Expansion and Digital Transformation. Hi, Gail. Hey, Jenny. How are you? <laughs> Good. Glad to have you here. I appreciate you being on. Now, Gail, let's start with this. What don't we know about cloud technology that will surprise us five years from now? That's a great question. Let's start with um, that we're just really we're nascent in cloud capabilities, right? So first of all, we're going to see some wonderful improvements. Um, cloud's coming to the edge. We're going to see uh, cloud infrastructure in, in the next five years that uh, we've been working on hyperscale data centers. We're going to see different form factors come into play uh, that, that are smaller forms of that. We're going to see distributed cloud ed and edge architectures because think about all the autonomous vehicles that are now on the streets five years from now. Think about the amount of compute and data processing power that they need to operate as, as they roll down the street. Uh, the IoT and continuing to, um, to build out, uh, everything's autonomous. Uh, uh, so whether it's a self-driving vehicle, it's a robot performing um, uh, medical procedures or uh, one in space. Uh, we now are collecting data at a, at, at a pace we've never collected before. And we have to be able to, com to, to gather that data, compute against that data, and to store that data and then reuse it and purpose it for insights and analytics. So I think all of those things are happening that are going to change the dynamics of the cloud and the dynamics of, of how uh, of our own lives. So that's very exciting. Uh, and then there's space and there's climate change. I love it, Gail. It's going to be exciting to watch all this play out. Now, I know from talking to you before, you and I have a shared belief that no one cloud fits all. And in fact, a lot of nuance exists at an industry level. So how are you all at Microsoft taking that into consideration? What are you seeing some industries do well and what can others learn? Yeah, that's a great question, Jenny. The first thing we did was create a horizontal cloud, right? It has all of our services across Microsoft now available to customers to, to purchase and use through our, our cloud uh, infrastructure. And that's great. And that allows customers to adopt whatever they want at their pace. However, there also, uh, there's also the opportunity to accelerate adoption uh, through industry vertical clouds. And so we have been working uh, to do that and provide industry-specific scenarios and solution packaging to our customers. Uh, it brings together the Microsoft Cloud and the breadth of its, of its capabilities along with partner solutions to create uh, this vertical um, solution. It is modularized, it's extensible, organizations can adopt it as they wish in the order and, and time frame they wish to do so in. Uh, it, it allows for operational applications, retail operations, uh, the types of clouds that we do are healthcare, financial services, retail, uh, not-for-profit. And, and so it, each and every one of them is designed to be a vertical solution, an industry solution uh, cloud. I love that, Gail. I love what you're up to there. Now, you know I couldn't let you out of the hot seat with at least one self-serving question. All right. So what comes to mind? Two or three things, top things, when it comes to the combined power of Microsoft and PwC in the market. Wow. Okay. So uh, first of all, the thing that we do really well is that it's not just PwC and Microsoft. It's PwC, Microsoft, and the customer. So now we are a powerful team uh, working together and bringing our best minds to solve whatever whatever challenges are or, 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 or attack whatever opportunities that are ahead. Uh, so that's number one. We have the breadth uh, of experience in industry uh, as well as in deep uh, technology. So when, when we combine that together as well and we, we let's say we, we want to take one of those big data problems, right, and solve for sparse data and unstructured data, you know, who, how do you do that? Um, there's a lot of change associated with that. There's data state mapping associated with that. There's technical depth and AI machine learning associated with that. Who better than to help a customer uh, uh, plan that out, build that roadmap, and implement you know that change. So I think I think those are the first things that come to mind. I also believe that um, there's skilling and in this process. So anytime we do a project together today, there's inevitably reskilling uh, and upskilling of our teams that needs to be done. In particular, our customers asking us to help them with. So not are we a change agent for 
cloud adoption as well as innovation in the projects that we're doing with our customers. But we're also um, upskilling uh, teams and, and providing the educational, continuing education needed to adopt the technology effectively. Thank you for that, Gail. As always, a pleasure to be with you, and I appreciate the insight and allowing yourself to spend five minutes with us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.